Welcome back. And this morning, we are joined right now by our resident tech expert, Brian Smith, to unpack major news from the scientific community. We take a biological angle with us on Brian. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. It's great to be back. Um, yeah, interesting cloning once again in the news. Major news last week broke that uh, real Chinese scientists have been able to successfully clone long-tailed macaque monkeys. Um, what's the deal, dude? <laughs> what's going on? I mean, since Dolly, sure. um, I'm sure there's some new advancements being made. Absolutely. So this is a really major development uh, out of the Chinese Academy of the Sciences and uh, Institute of Neuroscience in Shanghai, uh, in that this is the first time that Chinese scientists have been able to clone uh, primate monkeys. Uh, specifically, this is a huge advancement because scientists have looked at doing uh, what's called somatic cell transfer, where in a nucleus from uh, a bodily cell is transplanted into an embryo, and that embryo develops as any yeah. other life would. Uh, and specifically, this is a big development because scientists have continually hit roadblocks in cloning primates. Mm. Up until now, it's been thought that primates might even be resistant to resistant to modern cloning techniques. And that's the major difference from Dolly the sheep, which is probably, you know, she's the most famous yes. shape, sheep and uh, yeah. most famous clone in existence. Absolutely. But I think, it's, uh, once again, like you mentioned, it, this is major news. I mean, where to from here? I mean, what does this now mean to sex successfully cloning macaque monkeys? I mean, where to from here in terms of this? Where do they want to take this? It's a very controversial and emotive field, uh, given the fact that this has huge implications for animal testing, which naturally warrants an entire discussion on, on its own. However, if you consider that when scientists are researching uh, medical diagnoses, conditions in human beings, sometimes animal testing is a necessity to see how animals yeah. respond to differing treatments. Now, if you consider sample sizes are dependent on differing monkeys, they all have their own genetic code. But if scientists were able to be able to reproduce the same monkey over and over again, it gives them an excellent sample size to be able to test and assess the impact of different conditions and treatments. Yeah. I think the biggest question here is, you know, looking towards the future, we, you know, movies, human cloning, um, what is that hold for us? I mean, is, is this something that, that, that we should be messing with? Well, that's a huge question, specifically talking about uh, human cloning. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the one that maybe comes to mind out of science fiction. Yes. Uh, and this does theoretically open the, ga the gateway to that. However, there are 70 countries around the world which have all signed uh, regulation prohibiting the cloning of humans beyond embryos in the womb. Mm. Uh, specifically, this will moreover impact medical testing and could hopefully uh, break many, many barriers in researching certain diseases and their effects on different kinds of bodies. Sure. Brian, big, big, big news <laughs> indeed. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. So uh, let us know, what are your thoughts when it comes to cloning? Yes, they've successfully cloned these two monkeys now, but I don't know. What does the future look like? What will this world look like if we can advance this technology as well? Let us know on our uh, Facebook pages, Express the Morning Show, SABC3, and use that hashtag, Expresso Show.